everybody! Welcome back! Whoop pack! Welcome back to our channel, guys. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the pack. <laughs> so we're doing another video request today. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Cole and I have a little cold going on. Yeah, we... I'm, I'm like, officially... I feel better, but if I can just stop coughing, I'll be great. Yeah, that's what I'm at. <coughs> She sounds worse than me. <laughs> Mine's clearing up. Mm. That's why you don't hear anything in the background because baby girl's actually away from the house. We're trying to, uh, what do you call it? When they call it, when you, oh. we're trying to quarantine her. Yeah. Away from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quarantine. That's it, quarantine. Mm. That's a good one. So we're going to get right into today's video. And it's about finding our church and how we found our church. Yeah, so um, we've had a lot of people ask this actually because we make it a point to talk about how you should find a church that accepts you for who you are and um, isn't just <coughs> tolerating who you are. <coughs> Do you need some water? Yeah. Alright, get the water off your lip. Yeah, they can't see that. Yeah, they can. Uh, okay. Finding accepting. So, it's very important to find a church where you're accepted, not just tolerated. And some people might even ask what the difference is. So, there are churches out there that will mask themselves as... Oh, yeah, we, we would love for you to come to our church, and we would love for you to be in, here at our church, and yeah, we, we believe God loves all people, and you hear that, and you think, that's amazing, but once you start to evaluate the way that they see things, um, they will not allow you to be in a lead role uh, in your church. They wouldn't allow you to take on a role if you felt like, you know, that was what God was wanting you to do. They wouldn't believe in that and they wouldn't let you do that. Um, they also uh, would not say that they are accepting of you. They may not marry you. I mean, there's a lot of things going on there and that would be, they're just tolerating you so that, I hate to say this because I don't want to put it this off the appearance give off the apparent appearance that they're taking in LGBT people but also um it's a, it's a, it's more bodies in the church it's more money into mm -hmm. their pockets you know there's there's a lot of things there that I'm not going to put money in or money <laughs> I'm not going to put words into their mouths or or like say that is what's going on but awesome. and everything she's saying is stuff that we have encountered from other people like this is what our people from our church has, have experienced and the reason why why they are at our church currently now. Yeah, because um, a church that accepts you will love you for who you are. Um, it's not just the staple, God loves all of us. It is, we, we do we, we believe that, but um, there are many times where LGBTQ plus people will be in a leadership role. Um, they would marry, you know, like there's a lot of things there that go into a church accepting you for who you are. Yes. And not just trying to play along like they do. Pretty much politicking. Politicking? Yeah. Which is why we love our church so much. Uh, uh, as we said before, Cole and I have been together 10 years and we found our church when we moved to the city of Duluth, and uh, how long have you been about? Was that six years ago? Six or seven. Six years? or seven years we've been members of this church, mm -hmm. and it's great because me and Cole, we were skeptical about. We didn't want it to be. We knew it was a gay church, but we didn't want it want to be associated with like. How you want to say? Like, it's a gay church. It's not a gay church. It's actually just overseen by people of our community because the lessons and the word and the gospel like is delivered in a whole different perspective than high and cold and i were raised like they actually 
they actually teach they're teaching you the word of the bible yeah i think what she's trying to say as far as like we didn't want to go to a gay church is that what she's meaning we were more so under the mindset and taught ourselves that we were going to hell because we were gay mm-hmm. so um we weren't sure of like how that was going to play out what they would be teaching if it would be from the bible you know because we believed that you could be saved and gay but we didn't know where they stood on that and like what exactly we'd be learning but everything at this church that we love so much is from the bible it is um you know them breaking down every single scripture word by word going back into the hebrew version and going through that so um I just think it's so important that we found this church because of, I don't know about her, but myself, my father's a preacher, and it was just, you're going to hell. (laughs) So, um, you know, I could have, and I did, I would say, I ran from God for a little while because... I mean, I was hurt. I felt like, how could this that I've gone my whole life, you know, them telling me that God loves me, and all of a sudden, I'm not loved because of who I am. So, um, it was a great stepping stone, and the way that we found them is actually through a friend. Yeah. Um, she had been inviting us for a while, yeah. but we lived really far away, like two hours. Yeah. So, we were like, oh, it's a lot to try to you know, get to church, um, every morning. That was before we We, we, were invested and we realized what it was. Yeah, the community is great. Because now we drive, it's It's an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. But we still go because, like, they really invested and poured into us. Like, the, the, what do you call the, um, what do you mean? The welcome committee for the the actual pastors. Like, because it's... It's not really a big church, but we have like like 300 body people. But they really focus on one on one and making sure that each person feels welcome and special, and that that we are a family there. And they they reached out to us since day one. They asked us how we were doing every week. They kept they kept us in check, like just checking on us, and like we just kept coming back. Yeah, because you, I mean. If you are in a position where you're trying to find a church or you're like feeling down about church or whatever's going on in your life, you probably understand when you're first getting started and like going into a church and trying to figure everything out, um, you're, you're usually or maybe not be in a place with God that you need to be or would want to be. So, you know, there were times where for us, um, just to be honest, sleep and things like that was more important to us, especially if we had to work. Um, So during that time, it was so amazing to be like, man, they missed us today. Like they Mm -hmm. saw we weren't there and they checked in on us. And um, I just think that is... Uh, that made all the difference yeah. to me. I know, that's, that's probably like the number one reason Cole and I still still go to the church. Like they, other than learning, made, yeah, other than learning, <laughs> but they made the connection, and it's now it's it's like family. It's a now. family. It's a yeah. family atmosphere. Yeah, and um, we get asked a lot, like, how would someone go about finding a church, or you know, about our church, things like that. We actually have a lot of sister churches in other locations, um, if you're not in the Atlanta area, that um, you can either go to. I know our location. I'm not sure about everyone else, but I know our location. We do live services. um, So you can look us up up on Facebook and um, tune in or go onto the website and watch us live. And we will put that link to look at the locations in the description so you guys can check that out. And, and the church website will all be in yeah. the description box below. Yeah, everything will be below. And um, I would say if you are currently in a place where you're not ready to get out there to a church or you feel nervous or you know you just want to check it out and see if it's for you, mm-hmm. watch some of our live services. You know, see how we are, see how everything flows, and if if you feel like it would be something that you're comfortable with, um, because 
I mean, we there's so much there's so much going on in our services. They're really like um, there's flaggers, there's dancers. Um, we do worship sets. Like uh, it's just it's such an amazing experience that every single person can worship God in their own way. Yes. So you just have to watch and see. <laughs> Be true to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, and, uh, also, um, she forgot to mention that uh, we have online, so if you do want to become a member, they do have online church. Church, yeah. Well, people have, uh, they've, they've gone, they've grown um, rapidly with the online church. Yeah, we have um, set pastors for the online church that, um, I mean, you could obviously talk to anyone. You can talk to us, I mean, us. but if there's like specific pastor that you need to talk to if you're in the online service there are pastors for that so we'll put that again we'll put that in the description so you guys go check out all that great information because it's a lot to take in yeah we talked about a lot yeah. <laughs> so until next time guys be blessed be kind make, make a, a difference, difference.